guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode one of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Okay, so all I know is that this show is like an isekai, and I'm slowly but surely falling in love with a lot of isekais because I I've seen some good isekais and I've seen some bad isekais. Don't really want to talk about the best isekais, you know <laughs> what your names are, and I will never watch you again. Um... I am skeptical about this. I literally have no idea, like, how, like, comparing it to possibly others, like, am I probably going to compare it to Shield Hero? Maybe. Kanasuba and all the other sh fucking isekais that I've seen. Yes, because I know myself. I don't know. But, like, yeah. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Also, skip the first, like, 13 seconds of this anime with if you're watching this on kiss anime skip the intro for kiss anime and the freaking Funimation logo that's it because i know people are going to be like where the fuck is she at there's fucking goblins You know, honestly, like, I first thought this, this was that one show where, um, typically it's just, like, kind of modern day-ish. Like, it, there's this one isekai that is exactly like this, but it depends on their level, and I don't think it's this. I just don't remember the other name of it, though. Please don't make this like freaking. I swear to God, don't. Let's not make this like Goblin Slayer, please. As much as I love Goblin <laughs> Don't. That, like, that's like a paper cut. Paper cut! <laughs> When did this come out? Like in 2015? I do know that the English voice actor for Deku was in this anime. That's all I know. See, you like, just like I say during freaking Shield Hero, you need fucking Goblin Slayer. On speed dial, 911, what's your fucking emergency? Call fucking Goblin Slayer some shit. Like, I mean, he kill him in like one fucking slice and then we could be done. But no. Is he just gonna fall down from the sky? Well, Haru, you must have had, like, a very vivid dream. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, it don't even look like it's morning. It still looks like nighttime. See, in the world of Isekai, they don't have no fucking clocks, no watches, nothing. How are you supposed to know what's happening? Oh, boy, looking at the sky.
Why you look like Duel from Darling? Oh my god. Mm-mm. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like if he was older, yes. Mm-hmm. So, okay, I'm guessing this is going to be a very calming isekai and not a very high tense, wanting savvy savvy every five minutes, getting killed, blood going everywhere. <laughs> Go the <slay. laughs> <laughs> oh god, I miss my reactions to Goblin Slayer. <laughs> so you use the See, now you're doing Kingdom Hearts too. This is the photo thing all over again. See, that's a little weird, though. You only got no damn dictionary in the Isekai world? Well, no, if you do, it's only going to be terms that they use, so... Scratch that. Mm -hmm. It was the dream that you had, right? But how the hell are you having, like, fucking having a memory from a couple of days ago? Is this going to be, like, that one show that I, um, in my first channel, like, I kind of watched for, like, two weeks and then I dropped it, um, plan it with, in a way? And he'll get his memories, like, throughout episodes or whatever? Because he's in regular clothes, no. So it's going like a typical isekai. What? The? There's like a whole bunch of them. Damn. Yeah. And then the guy says they're going to fall in love, right? There's like one, two, three, four girls. No, five girls. One, two, three, four, five, six boys. Seven. Okay, well, damn. 
<laughs> See, you're gonna be that archetype. Like, mm, let me go ahead and hold this. I don't fear blood. Oh, shit. Uh. But see, it makes me wonder, why come to this world? Like, who brought them here? That's the biggest thing. And why would they have them, like, forget what's a cell phone? What's a game? You know, like, what if they'd be like, What's a dog? <laughs> what's like, what's a lamp? What's a fan? Also, it isn't fair that there's more guys than girls. I mean, I'm just saying, shouldn't this have been like an even group? You know, I gotta say, just like the watercolor <clears throat> aspect of this show kind of reminds me of the um, the one show that I dropped and I rewatched on my old channel, which was The World of Colors in a way. Like, just a little bit. Even though I didn't get dubbed by any anime company. It just got subbed. I gotta say, Haru Rantas, and then I think the girl with the purple hair, her voice sounds familiar to me, and I think one other person. Yeah, Renji, that's what I was thinking of. I don't know why, but like this seems like it's a show that's almost kind of by Kyoto Animation, not too much. Like, but then it seems like it's from A1 Pictures.
Go, you come down like two. Oh shit! <laughs> so, are you like the isekai version of Hunt? <laughs> Barbara's Day, I think, sounds like someone, but I just can't think of who. <laughs> yep, you gonna be the you may as the new coconut of this series and do it as what's her face until someone comes along and becomes the meat city of the show. <laughs> Well, that's a little mean. <laughs> it's a porcupine? Oh my god! <laughs> No, you're not fat. Whatever this thing is, it's cute as fuck, and I want it. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Never mind, Yumi is a little like Miku, you know? Mm -hmm. Great. See, that's like some Final Fantasy 13 ish. Like, no, not 13, 15. Can't go out when it's like, like dark because, you know, all the powerful OP <laughs> monsters come out and kick your ass. Okay. <laughs> She's so cute. I already love her. She's just the type of girl who just struggles with her weight. Like me. You may now set the time to be thinking about fucking food. Isn't there anywhere there? There's like some berries or something. I'll come munch on those, even though that's not really satisfying. Wow. This is actually a really first interesting episode. Really different from like how most isekais that I've seen have started. Where typically main character finds something, possibly even dies, Kazuma. Um, finds a book, uh, now for me. Something. <laughs> and it's just transferred to our isekai. And, you know, you meet the three important best girls. There's several best girls. How many other best girls are there? And then the story starts. Then you sometimes meet a fucking ho, thought, who rapes someone. Because, like, no, he accused me of rape. But it's different. I do like the watercolor aspect. It's really a nice touch. Haru seems like a breath of brush air. Yume is just going to be known as the girl who likes to fucking eat a lot. She's just hungry no matter what. But what I'm hoping with this show is it answers questions about, like, how do they all get there? Because they end, like, why the hell they don't have memories of certain things that they were doing before any of this? Like, because that, to me, that don't make no fucking sense. Like, how in the world do you not remember what happened several days prior to you coming here? I mean, like, fucking, um... Ions. Like, Ions was playing the game before he got sent. And I know a lot of people have told me this. It's like, in a way, he's not even... We're never going to see modern-day Ions. And I'm like, come on, man. Like, that's a little fucked up. Because I actually really want to see that shit. But now, when people tell me, they're like, yeah, it's never gonna happen. Like, you know, just don't think about it anymore, DJ. Like, just put it out of your head. Like, get it out of your mind. Because it's never going to fucking happen. Like, I just wanted to see, I mean, like, with Saga of Tongue of the Evil, you kind of got to see, like, a little bit of it before, um, he died. And it was just, like, a second. But, like, I kind of wish with that series we got to see more, but unfortunately we didn't. I mean, hell, the movie, I think the movie for us comes out this week. I think on this, what's that, the 13th? So, in three days, on the 16th, so probably... Thursday, I'm guessing. And maybe they'll have something else in it. Unfortunately, I know I'm not going to be able to go because I don't have any fucking money. I don't get paid until next month. Um, 
and I would love to see it, but I think I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until it comes out on, like, Kiss Anime or somewhere so that I can fucking watch it. Shit, bam. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really adorable. It's calming. It's not gory. It's just chill. But there's a lot of mystery, uh, mysteries with this. I thought it was gonna be, like, coming into this, like, when I, um, when one of my Patreons sent me the name of this show, and I looked it up, and I just really saw, like, I think a cover art of either one of the, um, book covers or something. I was like, okay, this could be a little lighthearted with a little bit of, like, gore and stuff in the twist. Now, after officially watching the first episode, it is very light and airy. It's not going to be like Goblin Slayer or, um... Maybe how uh, it'll it'll probably be like a little bit of constant but we'll have a little bit of jokes in there here and there. It's just more soothing. It's never gonna be like Re Zero and <laughs> Re Zero. <laughs> Re Zero goes kind of on the side of Goblin Slayer with certain episodes and stuff. But yeah, I mean it's really like adorbs and I love it a lot. The characters are interesting. It's just your girl got questions and I feel like my questions aren't going to be answered until, like, the second half of the series. Because they always say, like, okay, the first five episodes, here are our characters, here, are the, here they are doing really funny things and fun stuff and hanging out and trying to get money, and then slowly but surely, everything that you had wanted to know in episode one and had questions about, they'll be answered from episode six to, like, episode 12 or, like, 13, because I think this has an OVA. So I will be watching that. But like other than that guys, that is my reaction review towards episode one of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys for Patreons on Saturdays and for this series. Um, As of right now, this and another series, I'm going to have one of them come out on Tuesday and the other one come out on Thursday. I think... For this series, and because of the fact that I have Overlord coming out on Tuesdays, I think I'm just going to make my Tuesdays the day of Isekai. So I think I will have this come out on Tuesday, and then my other show will come out on Thursday. But until then, I will see you guys all next Tuesday and next Saturday. Bye, guys.